Assalamu alaikum How are you guys? I welcome all of you in today's video tutorial Today we are going to study about equivalent fraction and I hope uh, you have a good idea about fraction basics, numerator, denominator, unit fraction, non-unit fraction and also comparing and ordering fraction So what is equivalent fraction? These are actually the fraction which represent same or equal value what does it mean same or equal value uh, like 1 over 2 is equals to 2 over 4 and they look different uh, in numerator there is 1 and in uh, uh, denominator there is 2 in 1 over 2 but if you see just 2 and 4 but they have same value how I'll show you in the next slides so 2 over 4 equals to 3 over 6 and 3 over 6 equals to 4 over 8 to understand it better let's take example Consider a strip of paper uh, to be one whole and uh, fold it, fold it into half. After doing it, when you unfold it, so you will find it is divided into two equal parts. If you shade one of them, so you will say that each part is 1 over 2. Each part is 1 over 2. What you need to do again, after this, you fold it again. Okay, when you fold it again, and after folding when you unfold it so you will see it is divided now into four equal parts the same rectangle is now divided into four equal parts and you shade two of them now you compare 1 over 2 with 2 1 over 4 when you uh, look at your first figure in which you divided one rectangle into two equal parts so only one part you shed it so 1 over 2 is telling you that one part out of two equal parts and when you fold it again and you divide it into four equal parts so that's and you shed two of them so these are representing two parts out of four equal parts so if you notice so you will find that one part out of two equal parts now are equal to two parts out of four equal parts that's mean one of two uh, one over two of the paper is the same as two or four of the paper so you can easily say one over two is equals to two or four and one over two and two or four are equivalent fractions equivalent fractions come from the same whole uh, they have different numer numerators and different denominators but they are equal fractions in the next uh, example i'll tell you more Another example we have uh, here uh, we are having two circles. The first circle is divided into two equal parts and we shaded one of them. So it's now one over two. We can also say it's one part out of two equal parts. And in the next circle we have four equal parts and we shaded two of them. So these are two uh, parts out of four equal parts. So if you notice here, so one part out of two equal parts are same as two parts out of four equal parts the same circle we had, when we divide into four equal parts and we shaded one more so these are same so this is another example of equivalent fraction of one over two equals to two over four now we have a property of a fraction we are going to learn uh, what is the property if we multiply or divide numerator and denominator by same number then the value of fraction doesn't change that's mean uh, whenever we multiply or divide numerator and denominator both by any number uh, it should be a same number then its value doesn't change I'll show you how let's take the same example of 1 over 2 so if uh, we multiply or if we multiply uh, 1 by 2 so obviously we need to multiply it by denominator 2 the same number we need to multiply I'm multiplying 1 by 2 so I need to multiply 2 also by 2 so what is the result of 2 multiply by 1 it will be 2 and what will be the answer of 2 multiply by 2 it will be 4 so we get 2 over 4 and we have seen that how 1 over 2 equals to 2 over 4 so these are equivalent fractions let's have, have another example the same 1 over 2 um, uh, we have but uh, this fraction we are not multiplying now by 2 we are multiplying it by 3 
so if I multiply numerator 1 by 3 so I need to multiply denominator also by 3 so 1 by 3 I get 3 and 2 by 3 I get 6 so that's mean 1 over 2 is equals to 3 over 6 so uh, these are also equivalent fraction and we are following the property of fraction that whenever we multiply or divide numerator and denominator by same number then its value doesn't change can you think about one more example yes if if you multiply 1 by 4 and you also multiply 2 by 4 so in the result of 1 multiply by 4 you will get 4 and in the result of 2 multiply by 4 you will get 8 so it will be 4 by 8 so 1 over 2 is equals to 2 over 4 1 over 2 equals to 3 over 6 also and 1 over 2 equals to 4 over 8 also and you can have so many examples if you multiply it by 5 so you will get 5 by 10 6 by 12 7 by 14 8 by 16 9 by 18 there are some uh, there are so many equivalent fractions you can find so you can say that 2 over 4 equals to 3 over 6 and 3 over 6 equals to 4 over 8 and they all are equals to 1 over 2 now you know that fraction which have same or equal values are known as equivalent fraction and you can find multiple equivalent fractions by multiplying uh, numerator and denominator by same number or by dividing numerator and denominator with the same number so thank you so much for watching this video inshallah i'll meet you in the next video with another topic thank you so much take care have a nice day